Hello, press on to victory, victory in Jesus. I wish all fathers a happy Father's Day, the biological fathers and the spiritual fathers. How has the world come to celebrate Father's Day? We don't find it in the Bible, but what happened? The best of the stories I find tells about a man whose wife died during delivery. This woman died when their sixth child was being born. And so the daughter helped the father and they took care of all the siblings. The world was already celebrating Mother's Day. But this young lady called Sonora Smart ensured that fathers were celebrated, particularly her father, who showed devotion, leadership, loyalty, and dedication towards raising six children single-handedly, or at least with the help of the girl and other siblings. And so Father's Day marks that day when the world celebrates those who are to be encouraged, those who are counted as worthy of honor, and to challenge others to move along and be counted. Because God in his wisdom, even though God is spirit, he created human beings in his image as male and female, but he gave the leadership role to men. Are we playing that role to be a biological and a spiritual father to many? The pastoral prayer. Let us pray. Father, we thank you and honor you today that the world can set apart a time to celebrate fathers. You indeed are our father, the greatest father who ever lived. And you delegated this responsibility to men to follow after your footsteps. We confess that many of us have not been faithful. And therefore, we have experienced all kinds of dysfunctional homes, runaway children, hurting marriages, all kinds of crimes, because dads have not played their roles very well. We commit them to you today, that when your word touches us, when we are celebrated, we'll rise to the highest level we can to do the best we can for you. Thank you for those men who have loyally and dutifully, in spite of all challenges, done what is required of them. Spread them on and may we encourage them. But above all, even the homes that are broken because there's no influence of a father or a father figure or even mothers. Father, as your son taught us, you are our father in heaven. Therefore, we cry to you that you stay close to us and help us to stay close to you so that your will will be done on earth in our lives as it is done in heaven. Let your word dwell in our hearts richly and may this Father's Day be dedicated to you, God our Father first and foremost, but above all, to all who play these leadership roles in our lives. To you alone be praise and glory, both now and forevermore. Amen.